Hello, and welcome to another official Harryhausen unboxing, this time the Cyclops from the seventh voyage of Sinbad. Now, the year was 1958, and Ray Harryhausen was about to embark on his very first all-color feature film. The pressure was on both financially and artistically, as Ray had never worked in color before. You have just seen a special preview of the new miracle process, Dynamation, which will be introduced to the screen in Columbia Pictures, The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. The stakes were high. This first color feature film was also Ray's largest budget film too. So the first creature to appear on screen had to make an impact. In 1933, when Ray Harryhausen saw King Kong, it changed his life completely and he decided he wanted to work in film. Now, in 1958, this film would do the very same for young people watching, including the directors, James Cameron, Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, and Peter Jackson, along with special effects pioneers, Dennis Murin and Phil Tippett, who were the founding members of Industrial Light and Magic. Now, from these rare behind the scenes photographs, you can have a look at the model as it looked in place in front of the rear projection screen. And these are courtesy, of course, of the Ray and Diana Harryhausen Foundation archive. The seventh voyage of Sinbad was an enormous success for Ray Harryhausen and producing partner Charles Schneer and cemented a 30 year long relationship with Studio Columbia Pictures. Now, other scenes for the Cyclops were planned for the film, including this fight with another Cyclops and this encounter with a giant snake. Time and budget reasons meant they couldn't be seen but they do appear in the book Harryhausen, The Lost Movies. Now, without further ado, let's get unboxing. So here we go. Star Race Toys' boxes are superb. The photography, the design, very in keeping with the creatures themselves and the whole genre of Ray Harryhausen. And I love here where you can see previews on the side of the box of what's coming soon and you get full details on the creature itself as well. Excellent work here. Now this is a 32 centimeter high soft vinyl figure and it's part of the super vinyl series we're looking at the deluxe version today and of course it's part of the ray harryhausen 100 years centenary now star race have pretty much become the default place for harryhausen high-end model making details here on the cyclops on the side and here other creatures available. You may have seen our video for the Emir, and there's a mini defo version of the Cyclops, which is a mini version and uh, would make a great accompaniment to the main Cyclops. Now this Cyclops comes with an articulated jaw, a rolling eyeball, and is a fully detailed sculpt. Comes with the club as well that he harassed the sailors with on the island. And of course the man without whom none of this would be possible, Ray Harryhausen himself. It's important to recognize Ray's legacy in special effects cinema and fantasy as well. Right, now let's get this box open. Now this comes in a form of vac formed plastic, which keeps the model very tightly packaged. Every aspect of it, it's molded to the Cyclops body. So there's never any problems with transport. Pull that open there. There we go. You can see the creature inside. Even the, the horn on the top was carefully wrapped. And there we are with the club in hand. So let's have a look now. And there he is in a classic Ray Harryhausen stance as well. It's important for these creatures to look as much as they do from the collection point of view. Incredible detail. Of course, the upper body was made of rubber and there was steel armature inside and then below fur was used. But here, Star Race, have managed to recreate that fur effect, of course, in plastic, and the leathery top half, the scaly body where the spine is pointing out of the back of the Cyclops. Of course, coloring here is important too. This matches very closely with the original Cyclops. And of course, the detail and quality we've come to expect from Star Race Toys. I think we all have our favorite Harryhausen creatures, but the Cyclops always ends up somewhere in the top five, often the top three. Now here's the articulated jaw, so you can do your own bit of animation here if you wish. And then that pops out and you can articulate the eyeball, which I think is an incredible feature, given that the eye is so dominant here in the center of the sculpt. It's an impressive addition. And that clicks back in there with magnets. 
a beautiful piece, I think you'll agree. It has real sense of style. It has a real sense of stature as well. This giant that terrorized Sinbad and the sailors on the island really does deserve its place here in the Star Race Toys collection. Now let's have a look and see how he compares to his on-screen brother. Well, I hope you had as much fun watching as I did unboxing. Now, if you'd like to win Harryhausen merchandise, including the Star Race Toys Collection Cyclops that we've seen today, then simply subscribe here, share this video and comment below. You can find out more about Ray Harryhausen at rayharryhausen.com and we'll see you next time.